There has got to be a way to help Olivia, Anna said. The group was together in a room discussing their next move. If Rapunzel's last plan didn't work, what else is there? Eugene asked. I can try the energy thing again, Samantha suggested. Or maybe there's a potion or something we could use, Elsa suggested. We could try out to haul and now that Elsa isn't injured anymore, Ashley suggested. Or maybe Rapunzel could try using her healing powers, Varian said. Do you think that would work? My healing powers are for injuries, not magic necklaces, Rapunzel said. It's worth a try, Cassandra said. Or maybe we could... Kristoff was interrupted by Adira bursting into the room. Is everything okay? Rapunzel asked. Olivia is attacking, Adira exclaimed. The group ran outside. There stood Olivia, who seemed ready for a fight. Rapunzel activated the sundrop and tried to wrap Olivia in her hair. Olivia avoided Rapunzel and threw a test tube at her. Elsa created a pile of snow for the test tube to land in. Olivia, you're running out of time, Anna warned. The group watched more of blue creep into Olivia's hair. All that's left of your original hair color is one black streak, Rapunzel warned. Olivia began throwing her amber crystals everywhere. Cassandra activated the moonstone and destroyed the amber. Olivia threw more crystals. Cassandra destroyed all the amber that grew. Elsa was about to blast Olivia's necklace. If you destroy my necklace, I will encase your sister in amber, Olivia said. No, you won't. Trust me, Elsa said. You're the one that erased my memory, Olivia shouted. Do you want your memory back? Vary asked. Yes, Olivia replied. Then take off the necklace so I can use this potion, Varian instructed. No, I won't do it. I can't trust you, Olivia exclaimed. Anna tried to grab onto the necklace, but she couldn't. Rapunzel tried to wrap her hair around Olivia. Olivia avoided her again. Adira held up her sword. She was about to use it to destroy Olivia's necklace. Olivia threw something at Adira to make her drop her sword. What else can we do? Kristoff whispered. I think I have an idea, Cassandra whispered. She approached Olivia. Princess, would you like to not only regain your memory, but also gain more power than what that necklace can give you? Cassandra asked. What are you offering me now? Olivia asked. I can give you the power of the Moonstone, Cassandra said. No, you can't. I heard the Moonstone is part of you, Olivia said. Rapunzel tried her hair again. That's not going to work, Olivia said. Samantha was about to drain Olivia's energy when Olivia threw an amber crystal, causing Samantha to lose her chance. Cassandra destroyed the amber that was encasing Samantha. Let's see how well you can handle this, Olivia exclaimed as she threw a glass bottle at the group. When it hit the ground, it started a fire. Elsa used her powers to try and put out the fire. I don't think it's working, she exclaimed. She wished Nock was with her. She would have been able to combine her powers with the water spirit and easily stop the fire. Elsa, be careful, Anna called. As the fire got worse, Anna became more worried about her sister. She grabbed Elsa's arm while Elsa was still fighting the fire. With Anna tightly holding onto her, Elsa somehow managed to put out the fire. The group watched and waited for Olivia's next attack. They watched as she mixed a few ingredients and caused a mild explosion in her direction. Any good alchemist should know not to combine those ingredients, Varian said. Didn't you say before that when she loses her memory, she'll also lose her knowledge, Rapunzel asked? I think she's losing her knowledge now. We have to destroy that necklace, Varian exclaimed. Olivia began throwing more crystals. Cassandra destroyed the amber that grew. How do you always win? Olivia asked. We don't consider it winning until we destroy that necklace and restore your memory, Elsa said. Restore my memory? Olivia asked in shock. Who erased my memory? She did, Andrew pointed to Elsa as he walked up. I don't understand. Who's lying? I know someone is, Olivia said. Okay, Andrew. You lost, Rapunzel said. No, I haven't, Andrew exclaimed. He walked up to Olivia. He shook the necklace and it glowed. He told Olivia bad things about the group. Olivia was now ready for revenge. She tightly squeezed the jewel of her necklace. He manipulated her, Eugene exclaimed. Samantha was now holding a lightning bolt. Olivia threw a potion at the group, but she missed and made a tree fall over. Rapunzel grabbed onto the necklace with her hair. Olivia still had it on, and Rapunzel was about to pull it off. 
Olivia grabbed the bottle and threw it at Rapunzel. Cassandra was standing right next to Rapunzel, so the potion in the bottle affected her, too. The girls watched as Mother Gothel appeared. Hello, Rapunzel, she said. I see you've met your sister Cassandra. Rapunzel unknowingly let go of Olivia's necklace. Do you think she's even real? Cassandra asked. She was referring to Gothel. Probably not, Rapunzel said. Cassandra created black rocks, which made the illusion of Gothel disappear. Suddenly, the girls heard the sound of something breaking. Why didn't it cut? Olivia complained. What are you talking about? Rapunzel asked. I used that illusion to catch you off guard so I could cut your hair so you can't take my necklace, Olivia explained. Suddenly, a beam of magic flew across the area. Hans, Elsa exclaimed. She walked up to the prince who had just arrived. Remember what happened last time I did this? Hans asked and shot a very strong magic glass at Elsa. Elsa froze it in midair. She remembered what happened last time. That same magic glass was just like the one that caused her to break her leg. Hans began creating strong magic glasses everywhere. The group had a hard time avoiding them. Olivia kept throwing her amber crystals. Cassandra destroyed as many as she could. Andrew was now throwing them too. Cassandra couldn't keep up with the non-stop growing amber. Everyone else tried to stop Hans, but they couldn't. This is becoming too much, Anna exclaimed. Let's evacuate to the enchanted forest, Elsa exclaimed. The group ran as fast as they could. Once they got to the forest, Rapunzel deactivated the sundrop, and Cassandra deactivated the moonstone. How are we supposed to win the war now? Anna asked. Who will think of something? Rapunzel said. Maybe the spirits can help, Elsa said. Rooney jumped into her hands. Rapunzel? A voice asked. Rapunzel turned around. Catalina? Rapunzel saw her two friends, Kira and Catalina, standing next to each other. What are you doing here? Rapunzel asked. When we heard you were an Airedale, we thought it would be fun to visit you, Kira replied. Rapunzel introduced the girls to her friends, Elsa, Anna, Kristoff, Samantha, and Ashley. Suddenly, the girls felt twins swirl around them. Hi, Gail, Elsa said. Gail? Kira and Catalina asked. Elsa explained to the girls that Gail was one of the spirits that protected the enchanted forest. It seems like Gail is trying to warn us about something, Samantha said. Is it about the war? Elsa asked. Gail made a check mark out of leaves. What is it? Anna asked. Gail flew away. What's going on? Catalina asked. What do you mean? Rapunzel asked. I heard you mention a war, Catalina said. The Southern Isles declared war on Arendelle, Anna replied. You don't think we lost our chance to save Olivia, do you? Varian asked. Hopefully not, Samantha said. The group talked a little more while they waited for Gail to come back. After a few minutes, the wind spirit was back. So what is it? Elsa asked. Gail was blowing a paper around. Anna grabbed it and read it in shock. What does it say? Kristoff asked. It's an invitation to Hans's coronation, Anna exclaimed. Please tell me he's not crowning himself king as we speak, Rapunzel said. What? No, he can't be, Hannah exclaimed, still shocked by the news. That means we lost. 